watching the evening news last night, ABC, NBC, CBS News, uh, their warning, we're just a week away from the apocalypse. The the dreaded sequester is going to kick in, and everything is going to go to hell in a handbasket, which brings us to... Countdown to the apocalypse. $85 billion in spending cuts set to kick in March 1st, meant to be so egregious that lawmakers would have to come to agreement on deficit reduction. But that hasn't happened, and time is running out. Federal prosecutors will have to close cases and let criminals go. T minus seven days. The country is just days away from another self-inflicted wound to an economy that is still recovering. Deep across the board spending cuts will kick in on March 1st, unless Congress and the president strike a better deal on the budget. But lawmakers are on vacation, and President Obama is warning that time is running out. TSA workers, oh security personnel at the airport are going to have to either be laid off or be told to take mandatory time off. That's going to create longer lines uh, at airport security. We already talked about police officers uh, in education. There's going to be cuts to the Head Start program, which means fewer students will be able to get into that education program. Uh, there are going to be cuts at the IRS, which may impact how you file your taxes. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be something that if this goes into effect and remains in effect over the long term, everyone will feel. Hey, you know, cuts at the IRS, that doesn't seem like such a bad thing. Maybe they can eliminate the IRS entirely. Hey, maybe we'll have fewer audits. How is that a bad thing? Maybe, I don't know, the, I don't know how that got into the government's, uh, you know, in, in that script there. They, 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 they should probably yank that because I don't think anybody is going to fear cuts at the IRS. I mean, we might have to have fewer audits uh, if we have the sequester. You know, hey, <laughs> with threats like that, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not going to do much. But you get the tone of this thing. We got one more week, this phony manufactured crisis. Uh, they're trying to scare the bejesus out of everybody. Apparently, Obama is now talking to Republican leaders about ways to avert this crisis. And, of course, I think the Republicans are in a box. I think they're ultimately going to have to agree to something because anything bad that happens is going to be blamed on them. They're now going to get the blame no matter what goes wrong with the economy. It's all going to be because of the sequester, which the Republicans forced on the country. So I don't think they have the backbone to stand up and actually uh, defend their position. So I think they're going to cave in and uh, we won't have the sequester. So we'll see. There's only one week left. We got the countdown to Armageddon. We'll keep watching it.